Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are sadly leaving Disney World. So we have gotten out of the room. But if you're wondering like, what does this look like? My God, the sun. What does it look like leaving and traveling back home and your flight is late and what are you gonna do in between of being out of the room and getting to the airport? All of that I'm gonna share with you guys today. So make sure before we get started to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you know when all the content is coming. Like this video and let's get rolling. Right now we are headed to the water park. We had Bell Services pick up all of our baggage. Um, and then I put mine and Annie's bathing suits in a wet bag underneath the stroller. So that way when we're done, we don't really have to worry about our bathing suits being wet. We can just put it in the wet bag, pop it in our luggage and go on. And then also don't forget a hairbrush to brush your hair out or anything that you might need to, you know, kind of clean up. We also have some change of clothes because it's obviously going to be cold when we go back to Kentucky. So we have a change of clothes. I've got a coat packed. Um, but yeah, let's go to the pool and I think we're going to hit up the arcade as well and see what other amenities our resort has. So this is one of the pools. We will not be going to that one today because it seems a little bit more mature than what we have in a three-year-old. So we are going to be with the main pool area right across from Artist Palette, I believe, and um, the main check-in area. You want to do this one? Okay, go Annie. Go. Good job. They are actually working on the pool. I think they're just kind of trying to fill in, put more water in it. So the air, arcade, everything in the arcade right now is free. So this is amazing. She is going crazy. And Tyler is too. <laughs> Are 
Are you having fun? Yeah. Are you sad we have to leave in a couple hours? You want to go home? Yeah, we're ready to go see Daisy Do you want to go home or do you want to stay here, Annie? Yeah. You want to stay here. Strawberry. It's not strawberry. What'd you get? What did you have to have? Pina colada. Pina colada. Pool time is over. Annie really enjoyed the pool and it's unfortunate that it was only warm enough for our last day and to spend only a few hours there. But um, it does have some slides. One of them would have been very age appropriate for her. She just wasn't interested um, in going down it. But we are going to get our luggage. We're gonna just kinda chill, relax before a long evening of flying. With many of the resorts, there will be a little area for your kiddos. So we've got like these tables, you've got a TV for them to be able to relax and chill for moments like this. But our chauffeur is about 15 minutes away, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to Bell Services and get all of our luggage just to be prepared and we can be timely. Sometimes getting through TSA um, in Orlando can get pretty lengthy and stressful, so I do like to make sure that we have plenty of time. We use Mir's private transportation. We have always used it. It's fantastic and they will bring us right to the front of Delta's ticketing and will, um, whenever we actually get here as well, um, they will bring us right to the door. They help with luggage. It's wonderful, very nice, highly recommend. With Delta, we always fly Delta. You have these, so we've already checked in. And then right here is where you can print off of your check-in tags. Just do it yourself. That way you can get in line and just drop it off. We made it through checking in our bag. We're gonna head over to TSA. I'm actually wearing Annie. Um, she is burning up. She's definitely got a temperature. So this should be very interesting. Um, she's She's pitiful. Hopefully TSA will be kind to us. Annie, are you okay? So luckily I have some things that I gave Annie that's hopefully going to make her feel a little bit more comfortable. She's getting really sick really quickly. Um, so hopefully we can keep her hydrated and she's eating some chips so that's she's eating something which is good at least um, so hopefully she'll be fine is daddy winning do you feel okay Surprise, surprise. Our flight is delayed 30 minutes. I don't know why. So now I'm concerned that we won't miss our connecting flight to get back home. So I'm gonna go to the Delta desk and figure something out. So I went ahead and went to stand in line at the Delta counter and was checking my app at the same time. The line gets pretty lengthy, so I was just trying to see if there was anything that I could do. Um, for myself so there was available flights to transfer over and so I went ahead and grabbed one which is also delayed but the layover there is longer so we'll be fine we're just getting home an hour later so we're doing that we're gonna fly through Atlanta which we were going through Detroit which whatever anyway so we should be fine but we really do have bad luck also, I forgot because we are um, transferring flights, 
the seat selection is not amazing. So whenever they get up to the desk, obviously Annie cannot travel by herself. It's not guaranteed that they'll put all three of us together, but at least one of us has to be sitting with Annie. So we just need to make sure that um, they can make adjustments as soon as possible. So luckily they were able to place all three of us together, which was very, very nice. Right now I am going to go change as we are in 80 degree weather right now and we are about to go to like 10. So I'm gonna put some more comfortable clothes on and warmer cozy. Hi, it's me again. Um, flight's delayed again, 45 more minutes. You getting on the plane, Annie? Hey. Daddy. Hey. I'll put that in there. Hey. Did you get the did you kick Daddy out of the window seat? You did it? I thought Daddy always got the window seat. I didn't. You didn't kick him out? Can I sit there? No. What? Because it's my body never sit here. No. Annie never gets to sit there, Daddy. Play my game. Sleep. We're gonna land. You need to set up with mommy. We've made it to Atlanta and we were swerving around some storms. Like we literally were going north and then just and then started going up again. So we finally made it. We have about a 50 minute layover. Um, and Tyler's making us walk from concourse A to B. So whenever you are in Atlanta, you'll take the escalator down. If you are doing a transfer or a layover, you'll take a, you'll go down the escalator. Then you can either A, which I highly recommend getting on the train to whichever concourse you're going to, or B, you can walk it. But we're going from A to B, like I said. Um, it's a five minute walk. Um, if you are in a hurry or you just don't want to walk and waste time, then get on the train, way easier. We are in the car, heading home. We've made it safe. It is now 1240. Annie is in the back asleep. Um, she is still running a temperature and it feels like to me that I'm actually starting to get sick. So happy to be home that we don't have to go through this at Disney World. Um, but that's, that's real life for some people. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the raw. And if we are not friends here on here, make sure to subscribe on the, um, click the button below, I can't even think. And then like button, and then I guess I will see you on the video on the screen or at Disney World, bye.